So glad you could join us today. I'm Marlon Bowling, your tour guide to the ag commodities. Well, it's been a whipsaw affair in the grains. Let's take a look at this corn market here and our quotes provided by Bar Chart. On the corn market so far, uh, it is hanging on to gains, but uh, it's kind of eased off of its earlier highs. Kind of quiet. I'll call it quietly higher. How's that? March corn, one and three quarters higher at 687. And you have December new crop corn, a couple of pennies higher. We're now at 605 and three quarters. Now on soybeans, it's been a bit of an adventure. Look at the trading range. You had March beans uh, as high as 1548 and a half and as low as 1530. Right now, we're at 1534 and a quarter. So we're down five and a half cents on the day and much, much closer to the low of the day than we are the high, that's for sure. The new crop November contract on soybeans, right now we're down a nickel on the day and we're at 1388 and a quarter. Now on the wheat in Chicago, March four and a quarter higher. We're at 756 and we're off of our earlier low this morning by uh, oh, about eight and a half or nine cents or so. In Kansas City wheat, you have the March contract up six and a half. We're at 862 and a quarter. And the July contract now six and a half higher as well. Minneapolis spring wheat kind of quiet. March up a penny and a half at 917 and a quarter. And July up a penny and a half right now. Well, the big mover today has been cotton. And look at that March contract go at uh, 8580 per pound right now. That's up 298 points. And December new crop now up 217 at 8368. So cotton kind of in a world of its own today really showing off, flexing its muscle. We have Todd Bubba Horowitz on the line. He's with BubbaTrading.com. He's in Las Vegas this morning. Todd, good to have you with us here. So a little something for everybody here on the grains, but it seems like we're not really accomplishing a whole lot other than maybe in the cotton. So how do you read the tea leaves today here on the grain segment? Well, market Marlon, we're 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 like on the the mouse on the wheel in the in the in the in the, in the cage, right? We're running around in circles and we're not going anywhere. And, and that's really where we've been. I mean, if you look at the grain markets, they you know they're really corn's really stuck. Let's say between six fifty and seven dollars. You know, wheat is you know seven to eight, and and beans are you know fourteen fifty to fifteen fifty. And there's really hasn't been much action. I mean, there's really for the first quarter and for the first month of a new year, it's been unbelievably quiet and unbelievably lack of real true activity, which you know which makes it even more of a concern. You know, from a trading standpoint, but it's it's really obviously has to do with you know the Federal Reserve with the, the the garbage that they're using, and all these other outside factors that do have a direct effect onto markets when they're trading. And uh, you know, we we see equities trying to rally, and it's it's hard to get new money in uh, to markets when you you know you, you've got to focus on equities right now. So the PPI numbers that came out this morning. Do you think that will change the attitude of outside investors as they look at commodities now? No, I don't. Th I, I think commodities are going to have a big market this year. I, I believe that. I believe we're 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 falling into a a lull of a of a phony report that we get uh, of the information. You know, when they continue to report these numbers, they're almost calling us ignorant. When you think about it, because again, everybody knows if you just look at your own balance your own home shopping your own home goods you're paying a lot more than six and a half percent or whatever the number they want to give you so it just doesn't it's logically nothing seems to fit the way that it should and that's that should be a concern and i think that will also lead to a much bigger you know upside move when we finally decide to take off and we both know that markets take off when they're ready and when they take off it's hard to get on and one thing that's taken off today is the crude oil market. Look at West Texas Intermediate crude today. February futures now up a dollar fifty nine. We're now at eighty one seventy seven per barrel. We had been as high as eighty two thirty eight. So uh, very strong action in the crude, and that may be helping uh, to support that corn market a little bit. Uh, can't hurt anyway. Todd, great to hear from you. Thank you, sir, for the update. Thanks, Todd Bubba Hor uh, Horowitz of BubbaTrading dot com. And we'll pause right here. We'll come back and I'll get you updated on our livestock trade on the other side.